Hey guys, Shocky here, bringing you guys a new video, and this is going to be my Pokemon Spotlight series, where I bring you guys Pokemon that I'm using on my teams that maybe are NU or, you know, RU or something like that, or I'm bringing you guys weird builds that are actually working for me, because uh, those Smogon sets aren't the keystone to every battle. Uh, different things work in different situations and with different teams, so make sure you guys remember that, and uh, this will be that headliner for you to check out weird teams and weird sets and uh, just weird Pokemon in general that nobody else is really using. So um, before I get started on this series or this episode, I want to tell you guys to make sure you guys check out down below there will be a link to Rocket HQ. They are a new channel. They're starting up. They're really cool people. They want to be very community driven and also very artistically driven. Uh, towards the Pokemon because they feel that that's, uh, that's what Pokemon's all about, being artistic, being yourself, being, you know, what you do is what you do. And uh, they're really cool people, so make sure you check them out. The link will be down below to both their YouTube and their Twitch. Make sure you sub to them and follow them on Twitch. Um, these guys are going to be pretty big, so you could say that you were there before they were. So, um, yeah, make sure you guys do that. But uh, anyways, let's get started with this. So we got Malamar Physical Sweep Set. This is what I used in my last video, and the link to that will be down in the bottom right corner of this video. So make sure you guys check that out if you haven't, if this is, you know, you're watching this before that. And uh, this Malamar is actually a pretty strong Pokemon. Its base stats are really weak, but used in the right situations, I think it, it's a really good Pokemon. So we got... The item is Choice Scarf, which is going to allow you to be faster than most of the stuff that you're going to be fighting. So you definitely want that because Malamar's base speed is in the 70s and you don't want to be stuck be you know, following up any attack because Malamar has two really big weaknesses in Bug and, and Fairy. So you just got to be very careful about that. Also, he's not the tankiest Pokemon at all. His defense is, I think, 80 base, but his special defense is really low. So you just want to be careful about taking any shots, with, especially from special attacks. So just make sure you're wary of that. So the nature you're going to go is Jolly, just so you make sure that you're faster than some Pokemon. Because his speed is so low that maybe he could be outsped by something not even using Choice Scarf. Like uh, Greninja or something like that. I'm not sure about the math on that, but... Uh, you just want to have the Jolly Nature just in case. You can go Adamant Nature to do extra damage, but I don't feel it's needed because his, his uh, attack is is pretty good. It's his highest stat, and um, with his superpower, I don't think you need the Adamant. But you're going to go the Ability Contrary, which is going to allow you to actually boost your stats instead of uh, get negative stats when using superpower. It's going to put your attack and defense up one stage instead of lowering it. And uh, if somebody uses something like Sticky Web and you put him out, it's actually going to increase his stat his speed by one stage. So um, just be weary of that too if you're facing a Malamar, that that might happen. And if you're using Sticky Web on your team or vice versa, they might not realize. And then you play Malamar and he's plus one speed already. And then you're going to get the plus one attack and you're going to get the plus one defense. And then he's going to be able to take a shot or two and take out uh, their whole team. So Malamar is just really strong. Um, and now we have the EVs, which is going to be attack 252, speed 252, defense 6, but uh, only counts up for 4. So you're just going to do that. Very simple. You want the defense. You could go HP too. It doesn't really matter. But the defense is going to allow you to boost and uh, stay alive against physical attackers um, that aren't <laughs> super effective. So you don't want to play him out against a fairy or against a bug if you don't have to. Just be uh, make sure you're you're paying attention to the move set that your opponent's using, but um, yeah. As for move set, you're gonna go Psycho Cut. This is just uh, th this set is for a lot of coverage, but your main attack is gonna be the superpower. So you're gonna go Psycho Cut just so you can kill some of the you know fightings. Last hit the fightings. If he's your last Pokemon and all they have is a Conk Elder, you just Psycho Cut them and uh, get away with the victory instead of going the superpower potentially dying. You just want to be very careful about that. Uh, then you're going to go Night Slash, which is going to allow you to kill, you know, anything that's weak against Dark pretty much. The crit chance on those two moves are so high that the chance of you getting crit is pretty good. And um, 
being able to kill ghosts in one hit or because he can't hit ghosts with superpowers so if you're going to put him out against a ghost you're going to want to use night slash or psycho cut night slash also kills psychic pokemon uh which site which psycho cut and superpower do not do so you just it's just for pretty good coverage and then you have superpower for pretty much everything else uh, even if it's not very effective, it's still going to do a lot of damage because Superpower is a 120 base attack. Plus, Malamar has pretty good attack, and then it's going to boost itself. So it's just uh, it's a really good attack against anything, especially if you can get it in against a Steel, an Ice, a Dark, something like that. It's just going to destroy them. Um, so just make sure you get that going on. And then you're going to go switcheroo. Well, I'm going to go switcheroo. I don't feel there's another attack move that warrants being on Malamar. So switcheroos are good because you could give them your choice scarf and actually take their item. Uh, I think switcheroo actually has priority by the way it's read out uh, in the game. But I have actually never used it. So I can't tell you if it has priority or not. But with choice scarf, it shouldn't matter. But uh, this might allow you to actually take choice scarf um if if uh they trick you you can always go you know switch a route and take back that that choice scarf or something like that you know just some weird interactions that switch room might actually be good in other situations too and like i said there's no other good attack move that he has i mean you can go foul play or something like that but in my opinion it's not needed uh, i think night slash is just better because of the crit chance and most likely you're gonna one shot those pokemon anyway so um yeah i i don't feel that it's needed but uh so that's my set for the malamar now i'm going to give you guys a few options that you can go with in your team i'm going to give you my dream team for this that i i would use if i was in ou battles uh the first pokemon that you're going to want to use is something that can counteract its two weaknesses which are uh fairy and bug so a good pokemon for that is actually scizor because scizor allows you to kill the fairies because of its steel typing and also it resists the bug typing so it allows you to sit there in front of them you know hit them with you know an aerial ace if you run that or something like that just to give it good coverage um Sciz mega scissor is probably the best pokemon that you can run with malamar just for that huge coverage and since you're going to be running scissor you're going to want to run something that uh you can switch in to stop somebody killing fire with it uh killing the scissor with fire and a good pokemon for that and also goes well with the malamar is a gudra since gudra has that gooey if it gets hit by a physical attack it can actually make your opponent uh speed lower and make malamar have a higher chance of actually hitting so uh that's a good way to go and it also has pretty good coverage my mine does personally and it can it can actually get a, quite a lot of moves so uh, Gudra is really a good choice because it, it can resist physical and special, especially special attacks. So um, yeah, really good choice with Gudra. And another good choice is going to be Jolteon. Jolteon is a really good uh, special sweeper. It has such good move coverage. You don't even need to run Choice Scarf because it's so fast. And it's going to allow you to actually uh, Volt Switch if you need to, you know, get out of there into Malamar. Or some, you know, interactions that you might not even think of. Uh, Jolteon, just very versatile Pokemon that's going to be a good Pokemon for your team. And then uh, another Pokemon going to be run because we're pretty weak against Steel ourselves. We don't really have anything that stops Steel. We also don't have anything that, you know, stops Grass. So a good Pokemon is actually Infernape. Infernape with the Balloon allows it to not get hit by the ground moves. And then you can, you know, use the Mock Punch. I use Mock Punch Taunt and uh, Fire Punch and Flare Blitz. The reason why I use Flare Blitz over Fire Punch is because I think it actually does more damage. I could be wrong on that, but uh, yeah, Infernape is a really good Pokemon to run in this situation because he just has, mine has such good coverage and allows it to kill things or be the ender to the match if the Malamar actually dies like in my last video. And the most important thing that you're going to want to run with Malamar is actually a Stealth Rock Rapid Spinner. You're going to want both of those on one Pokemon so you don't take up two spaces. So a good Pokemon for this is actually Dawnfan. Dawnfan's a good physical Pokemon. It fits right into the team because of that. It also has the Sturdy so you can get down the rocks. Rocks are very important because if something has Focus Sash, it has a chance of actually killing the Malamar. 
and you don't want that to happen. Also, Dogfan can get the Ice Shard so he can hit first and get the Rapid Spin, get rid of the Rock so your Malamar doesn't get hurt. Because you want Malamar to be as full life as he can, so that way if he does take a shot, he doesn't die. Um, you got the Stealth Rocks, the Earthquake on him. So he just, uh, Dogfan's a really good Pokemon. Um, and uh, I think a perfect choice for the team if you're going to go OU set. Um, I don't know what tier Malamar's in, but I would imagine it's probably RU or even UU maybe. But um, yeah, Donphan is a really good Pokemon to run with them. Uh, a couple other choices that you have, you can run Mega Blastoise, which you know also has the rapid spin and it can also uh, you know sweep a team with its special attacks. So Mega Blastoise is just a really good choice. You can run a nice fire sweep Pokemon like the uh, Darmanitan. He can just you know destroy whole teams by himself um, with a choice scarf. So if you have two two choice scarfs, you could do that. Or you can go, you know, something like Nidoking, Nidoking, which is a really good special sweeper. And if you, once again, if you have another Choice Scarf. And another set that you can actually run with the Malamar is if you run Choice Band instead of Choice Scarf. And you actually run Scolipede with the Sword Dance Protect, you know, Baton Pass set like I use in some of my videos. Uh, this will allow you to be able to, you know, boost up the Malamar, put the Malamar out there. He'll survive a hit. Then you just sweep their whole team because you have that choice band, which is going to boost the attack. You have the sword dance boosting the attack, and then you have the superpower boosting the attack. Uh, it's a more risky setup because you, you need more. Because with this Malamar, with the physical sweep set, you just put them out there and start superpowering. But uh, with that other set, you actually have to set up the Scullipede and various other things. So, um, yeah, I say Malamar... Gets my thumbs up. I really like Malamar. You'll be seeing him more and more in my videos. But, uh, yeah, I'm breeding a lot of Pokemon right now, so look forward to seeing some other sets. I'm trying to get rid of all my fake Pokemon that I genned in into real-life Pokemon, like the real Kanto-born uh, versions. So I'm doing that for sure. I actually ended up getting a shiny Shroomish out of it, with the, but it has uh, Poison Heal. So I'm going to be making a defensive set out of that. Because it's a really good defensive set for it. And uh, just uh, various other Pokemon that you'll be seeing. That you have seen in my videos before. But these are going to be legit versions. Without any of the tutor moves and stuff like that. These are going to be more. You know. My style of Pokemon. But anyways guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did make sure you guys thumbs it up. Make sure you guys check out Rocket HQ down in the link below. And uh, tell them I sent you. And I will see you guys later.